Well, a recent article published by the Stanford Advocate painted the picture that Stanford High School will be implementing block scheduling next year. Principal Ray Manka, in a recent interview, pointed out that this may not be such a sure thing. We talk about what our professional development plan would have to look like um, and, and, and the work that still needs to be done there. And if we just don't have enough time or enough resources to, 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 to fit it into semester two, mm. then you know, maybe, maybe we pivot a little bit and, and we, we also take a different a approach to make sure that we can do things responsibly, um, that we can do things to help our, our, our staff be best prepared mm. because as a function of their preparation, our students will benefit. One of the primary considerations in the discussion of moving Stanford High to a block schedule is the fact that the credit requirement for graduation is raising from 20 credits to 25. A block schedule would increase the amount of classes a Stanford High student can take over their four years from 28 to 32, introducing four more chances for those students to earn the necessary credit. With the graduation requirements, under the current model, if, you, if we go to 25, seven classes a year times four, that's 28 opportunities to get 25 credits. Yeah. If you go to an eight period schedule, now that jumps to 32 opportunities for 25 yeah. opportunities to earn credit. Um, I've heard good things about block scheduling and bad things about block scheduling, but I think that uh, the pros will outweigh the cons and, and we'll be able to, <laughs> and we'll be able to, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think benefit from it as a school. What are your opinions on block scheduling for next year? It's dumb because I can't stay still. I have a serious case of ADHD. <laughs> um, I'm not a big fan of the block scheduling because like if there are some classes you don't like then you have to like sit in them for a really long time and I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah I agree with her. Well I don't think it's that bad because like teachers always complain we don't have time with like our regular schedule like today like this year but um I feel like kids are going to like fall asleep in class because like the classes are very long. I don't want it to happen. It's death. Like if you have an AP class for like how long? How long is the thing? An hour and 30 minutes. An hour and 30 minutes? That's not fun. Nope. I don't think it's a great idea. I mean like considering us also, we're going to be seniors, like change isn't necessarily the best thing for our last year, but it's just an opinion. Um, I think the block schedule is going to be a good thing for teachers and for students. I'm for it. Um, I don't have much of an opinion on it, to be honest with you. I do have one thing I'd like to ask, though. Why is West Hill waiting an extra year while we roll it in next year? While there is much conversation over block scheduling in Stanford High's future, no details about what that would look like can be accurately described at this point in time.